What is your opinion about plant fats and healing cancer with diet? Fats such as hemp, flax, coconut, avocado, palm. I believe the Gerson diet is very low in fat. Right, right. Yeah, no, there's, there's almost two questions in there. The one is the plants, and then the, how about the low, low fat diet? I mean, plant fats and then low fat diet. Plant fats are the fats are the only fats that we should have, and that's because animal fats are saturated. They're all they're called saturated means uh, you've heard of saturated saturated fats. And, and and just to give you an idea of it, plant fat at room temperature is liquid, like olive oil, uh, corn oil. You know, it's all liquid. And you look at a animal fat at room temperature, like look at a, a piece of meat with fat on it. It's solid. Or look at some Crisco in a can. You know, the the lard. It's it's solid. And that's at room temperature, which is, you know, kind of scary because you know, you know that if it's solid there, it's going to be solid in our arteries and wherever else, and our body's going to have to do, go through a lot more of uh, a metabolic dance to try and um, keep it from causing any harm or blocking things up. Now, fat is essential. It's one of the macronutrients. It's one of the fundamental nutrients that we cannot live without that are necessary to rebuild uh, repair old cells and to make new healthy cells. And where fats come in, uh, primarily is the, they make up the, the, the skin of every cell. It's called the membrane. And that skin, that membrane, has thousands of antennae and thousands of pores and all kinds of things that allow it to interact with its environment, you know, to, you know, and it's got receptors on it, so if insulin comes by or estrogen comes by, and so whether or not it's going to interact with the molecules and all that. So this, this, this membrane is probably the most important part of a cell because it is, it is the real brains of the cell. It tells the cell, it tells the cell nucleus what to do, like uh, the DNA. It says, okay, we need this kind of protein or we need this or we need that. And it's basing that decision based uh, upon the, its immediate environment. So that is really important. So I, where I would differ from Gerson and everyone else um, is that instead of saying low fat, I think we need a high fat. The reason is, and it's not forever, but it's at least 9 to 12 months once you make a change in diet. And that's because all the cells in our body have membranes on them that are made from the fats that we've been eating all our lives, which are trans fatty acids and um, saturated fats and all kinds of things, fats that are not appropriate and are not in our, for, our, for our biochemistry. And so they've been incorporated. So we have very sluggish and inefficient cellular metabolism based on the fact that we've got all these bad fats. So we need to switch them over. And you gotta, so you've got to flood your body with healthy fats for about nine months and so, so they switch over. Because it takes about nine months to have a new body. You know, you get a new liver every six months. You get, you know, you get a new lining of your colon every three days, new skin every six weeks rods and cones in your eyes are every 48 hours, but basically about nine months to change your body. And so uh, I would say for nine to 12 months, flood your body with healthy things like hemp seeds, flax seeds, grind them up and do it like that, preferable to just the, the, refi- the, uh, the pressed oils. Although the oils are good if they're pressed, cold pressed, but you do want to get the whole seed with the lignans and things like that. But yeah, uh, so I'd say high fat for a while, then you, then you drop down to uh, a, um, a moderate low to moderate fat of healthy fats and they have to be plant-based.